three. Well, hello. What's your name? Hi, my name's Leone. I'm the BMEA Club President. Wow. How long have you been El Presidente? <laughs> I'm coming up two years now. Two years. Yes. Okay. Have you learnt anything? I have learnt lots of things. You've learnt lots of things. <laughs> yes, patience, organisation, yep. um, humility. People that are persistent like me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and what does the club actually do? We, our, our main aim is to get together and share ideas, um, make things together, promote miniatures and share information, just yeah. have fun. Okay. Yeah. And what do you model yourself? I do all sorts of things. I just like to play and experiment. I, I call it modelling. Is it called modelling? It can be modelling, yes. Yeah. yes. Craft. Uh, crafting. Yeah. Um, Dolls houses is a is a big thing in our club, but we yep. are through our shows. We're actually um, trying to promote a, a broader range of interest in miniatures, model railways, shipbuilding, tabletop gaming, fairy gardens, general scale models. Um, modelling can cover all. Yeah, it sorts does, of doesn't it? it? Covers it a does. great range of it stuff. Does. Yeah. Okay. And how many members in the club? At the moment, we have close to 38. Oh. So, yeah, it's, yep. it has been a club for just over 40 years. Goodness me. Um, there's been periods of time where we've had close to 100 members, um, yep. ranging from all ages through children to parents and yep. families. Um, we are looking for new members. Right. So, if anybody's interested in Well, how about we models? put your uh, contact details at the bottom of the screen? And people can see it and they can contact you or is it yeah. somebody else in the club? They can contact me through the email on the website. Yep. Uh, we have a website and you can contact yep. us straight through we'll a form put on that, the website. We'll put those yep. details on the screen here while the people are watching and listening to you Fantastic. talk. They'll be able to see you. Yes. Okay. Great. Yeah. All right. Look, thank you very, very much. And make it a real big introduction to people that come along here to the club <laughs> and contact you. And, um, and learn all the different things that the club has to offer. We have a lot to offer. Yep. Wealth of knowledge from members who have been with us for nearly 40 years. Um, new members who are learning via the internet and modern forms of, yep. of learning. Um, the more the merrier. Okay. Come along and join us. Well, That's thank you very, very much. <laughs> thank thank you. you for your time. Yep. My name's Jill Fraser and I'm from New Zealand and I come over to Australia to promote my magazine which has got a lot of Australian and New Zealand miniaturists in it and the magazine itself has got a lot of projects that I do and I make and then I do the instructions and the photographs and so I know that they work and I try and cover all styles, uh, Victorian, modern, the arts movement or art deco so in my magazines I ca and this is why I call it the miniature time traveler magazine because we cover all decades. Does it have Australian stories in it as well? It does. It I, does. I interview Australian miniatures when I'm over here and I like doing that because they do slightly different miniatures than New Zealand miniatures do. Okay so if anyone's got a great story or any story uh, about dollhouse or dollhouse making or anything to do with that hobby uh, contact you. Your details will be on the bottom of the screen. Yep, absolutely. So please do that. Contact and just work out what we can do. You might need to change a few things in your story, but predominantly it'll be just great. We'd love to hear. We from want you. to promote the hobby. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay. Ready any time. Okay. So yeah. So I'm Roger Fraser. I am here with Jill, who's the editor of Miniature Time Traveller magazine. We attend quite a few shows in Australia and New Zealand. Um, and we like this one here in Brisbane, particularly because of the large number of traders they get along. You get a good... Um, How long have you been coming here, Roger? Uh, this would be our third event, yeah. Your third third event time. Here in Brisbane. You mm -hmm. like Australia? Well, I lived in Australia. I lived in <laughs> Melbourne for 18 years. Yeah. Um, so in my heart, I'm still an Australian, I think. And uh, this hobby is not just for women, is it? No way. 
No way. And you do find that there's a lot of silent male miniaturists. Yeah. You don't realize, because most of the people who come to the trade show are their, are their yeah. female partners. Okay. But there are a lot of guys in the background who help their wives with their work. Yeah. And how long have you been involved in the industry? Uh, for me, personally, uh, probably only since I retired, so the last seven or eight years. Yeah. But Jill's been involved with miniatures for 40-something years, 40-plus years. Okay. Do you cut timber and ply and fabrics and things like that? No, I do none of that. She none does all that. that stuff. I actually help her look after her magazine. We do a lot online with digital publications. Yep. And I help her with all that stuff. I'm quite fascinated. You do all the IT, I'm told. Correct. Yep. I developed her website using yep. WordPress. I do a lot of stuff with digital publications. We yeah. use Facebook a lot to promote me. Okay. That's what her work is worldwide. Yep. There's been a lot of people here this morning. Yeah, this morning was really good. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, and a bit quiet. I was quite time, surprised. But I think it'll pick up again after lunch. Yeah. That's how it usually flows. Yep. And it's on again tomorrow. It's on two days, isn't it? It is, two days, yeah. Yep. And do you know how often the show actually happens? It happens every year. We had, yep. We've had a couple of gaps in the last couple of years, of course, because of the dreaded oh, COVID. Oh, everybody did in every kind of show, didn't they? Yeah. Yep. Yep. But now we're back in the groove, I think. So yep. it'll be back on as an annual event. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're looking forward to tomorrow, and we're looking forward to another show, another time. Thank you, Richard. That's yeah, right. I'll probably be here. Yep, okay. Thank you very much, Roger. Yeah, take care. So, hello, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. And what are you doing here today? Yes, well, I'm selling the miniatures. Most of it I hand paint, uh, and just try and turn it into something a bit different. I make all these little bits of uh, bedspreads and things yep. like that, and package it up. I do columns that I put hand. You make these, some of these? I make a lot of them, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's fantastic. I sold a lot of the ones that I made. That's yeah. Funny. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get some shots of them before we go. Yeah, okay then. Yeah, and how long have you been coming here? Uh, I've probably been coming here about four or five years. Four or yeah. five years, yeah. yeah. It's been pretty good. Yeah, it's been excellent. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lovely show. Yeah. Lovely show. The ladies are always great. And you save up all your stuff each year for making it, then yeah. you come along? Yes, we do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Would you invite other people along? Yes, and we tell yes. everyone. I belong to a club and we tell everyone about it as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. And what's your name? Valerie Pike. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very okay. much. All Thank right. you very much, Valerie. Thank you. you too. Uh, and I can talk the iron legs off a donkey, so you're all right. Ah, uh, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it while the camera wasn't on her. She knows how to talk <laughs> underwater. So here we go. With a She's going to tell us all about these beautiful miniatures here. Absolutely. Most of my miniatures are actually imported, but that's irrelevant. Because once it gets into your doll's house... I've got some news for you. Yes. Everybody in Australia is imported. <laughs> I was just about to say, they might come from Germany, they might come from Italy, they might come from England, and they might even come from the United States. But ultimately, they come from the country called China. It doesn't matter where they come That's from right. to me. That's right. But most of the little miniatures are made of wood, ceramic, some resin... And they're just all divine in their absolute own right. Some are slightly bigger than others, some are slightly smaller, and it's all down to what you want. You can get true and accurate to scale, or you can just get something in there. You don't care whether it's exactly right or not, as long as it makes you smile. That's what miniatures is all about. Absolutely. And how long have you been doing this? I've been doing miniatures since 1996. I heard of 1996. <laughs> I had to yeah. think about that. Yeah. So quite a few years. I've yeah. loved every minute of it. For Do you have a shop? I used to have a shop. Yeah. Unfortunately, I sold the bricks and mortar back in 2021. Yep. Yeah. Kind of thanks to COVID. COVID yeah. pointed me in the direction where everybody has gone in today's society online. That's right. However, the difference between my online shop and everybody else's is I'm always there to help. I don't just sell miniatures. I'm here oh, to that's help great you service. with lighting, mitering, yeah. wallpapering. And believe you me, I have been told that sticking my little nose in always pays off because if you order something and I think it doesn't quite match with each other, like a piece of wallpaper yep. or carpet, yep. I'll ring you up and say, are these supposed to go in the same room? Because if they do, can I help you out and fix it? 
Yeah. And I'll send them something they like. I've never had any returns yet. So people can contact you through your details on the Absolutely. bottom of the screen? Absolutely. They certainly can. They yeah. can call me. They can email me. We can send texts. I have customers sending me texts and pictures. Lorraine, what do you think of this? Can I put yeah. this with that? And I'm always there to help. And what was the name again of your... The name of my shop is Fairy Meadow Miniatures and I'm down in Wollongong, New South Wales and I yep. ship all over Australia and okay. a little sneaky, if you spend over a hundred dollars, I actually ship it to you for free. Excluding dolls, go. houses and room boxes, I can't cover the weight on those. Okay. But I will do my utmost to always help you. Well there you have it. Look, there's everything here you could possibly imagine. Tiny little cups and barrels and Oh. It's just amazing. This is only a fraction of what we've got here, of what absolutely. is available. I it's say absolutely people, outstanding. Miniatures is the one hobby where you become, you become the electrician, the carpenter, you lay carpets, you do bricking, you do glassware, you do needlework, you can do miniatures in the respect of tiny knitting, you can do stained glass windows, you can do crap, uh, scrapbooking, you can do absolutely anything. And the only thing that holds you back is this. The memory. Abso oh, the imagination. Imagination. The world is your oyster and the only thing that will stop you is your imagination. And one thing that I'm gonna leave you with, never be afraid to make a mistake. Ah. Because there ain't no we can't fix. Okay, well look, thank you very much. That no was worries. very enlightening. My pleasure. Okay. Thank you. My name is Richard and we uh, manufacture a whole range of uh, strip wood uh, for the hobby industry. It's been doll houses and, uh, and model railroading and panoramas. We have 172 different measurements of timber out of six different species of timber. We have just about every kind of shape and that, that, that you would like. Uh, we have a great range of plies and weatherboards and all that, everything that you need as far as timber goes for building your dollhouse or your panorama. Thank you. Uh, I'm Doug Cadell. I'm an amateur model maker. I specialize in making uh, models of um, uh, early, 19th, early 20th century Queenslanders, but I've done other things as well in the meantime. Um, I like to build ones that are, have got some history or are heritage listed or have um, some special um, uh, significance for the people that I build for. Oh, and how long have you been doing this, Doug? I've been doing it since uh, about 2019. I oh, was, quite recent. Yeah, oh yes, I've only been doing it for a short period of time. I got laid up, I had a bit of a bit some surgery and I couldn't exercise and so I took up some model making. My first model was a uh, model of my house, uh, my own house, which is a Queenslander. Uh, people saw that online and said, can you build my house? And so ever since then, I've been wow. largely building um, houses for, for other people. I mean, yeah. I've done a couple of my own, but yeah, usually they're for yeah. other people by word of mouth or through Facebook or you yeah. know, for various other media. And you cut all your own timber and everything like that? All yeah, I, 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 uh, I buy all my timber in bulk and then I, I cut all my timber to size. Obviously. That's a pity because that's what we do. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm, I'm undercutting you. <laughs> um, but some of, some of my models also I use foam core as well. So, uh, yeah. But uh, I much prefer working. And what with scale? It. You're in 12 scale? Oh, no, no, I work either in 120th or 125th. Oh, okay. Yeah. You do want to be different. Yeah, just something just to be, a bit different. Just a bit different, yeah. yeah. They're absolutely beautiful, as you oh, can see you. now. Thank and you. Can people contact you to get work done, or oh, how yeah, do you operate? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yes, if they, they are the contact, and most people that have contacted me, it's been through you know, Facebook, uh, yep. but then by word of mouth. Uh, but certainly, uh, you know, I'm, I'm on the BMEA page quite a lot, and so they can okay. contact me there, PM me through there. Yeah. Um, well, they can contact you through your details at the bottom of the screen now. Oh, right. Okay. okay. Yeah, so we'll put them down there right, for anybody great. who yep. wants to no, contact you. No, no, that's you. fine. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yeah, I'm, ha I'm happy to either to build it or, or to, you know, there are a couple of people who have yeah. contacted me that or want even to build advice. their own. Yeah. Yep. And any videos you want to make? Now, this is part of my hobby, oh, right. <laughs> making okay. videos. We're going to start a, a like a dollhouse or, or a miniature house uh, 
page on YouTube, so it'll be its oh, own that, channel. That, that, that'll be good. Yeah, and this yeah, is yeah. the first video to go yeah, up. because so. there's not really that much about houses and such that, I, that I've found. I That's mean, right. Well, in researching, I couldn't find much at all. No, you know, no, no, even no. the how to do it, you know, is yeah, uh, yeah, where yeah. do I start? That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's right. So. Yeah. Well, it's been lovely talking to you. Been I'm really sure we're going to make you. some more videos together. All right, I okay. hope so. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Doug. <laughs> Not a problem Take at care. all. Bye bye. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Bye now. I'll start off. Well, hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. And what's your name? My name's Ruth. Yes. And I'm from Christmas Every Day. Ah, okay. It's Christmas every day. It is Christmas every day oh, for us. Well, you've got some great stuff on your stand there. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. And the knowledge you have. I want to tap into that knowledge. Okay. What do so, you need well, to know? Well, anything at all. How do you start building a dollhouse? Generally, it can start off with a small diorama to build up to it. Yes. Or you can do a shop or a scene and learn the skills of the wallpapering, the bits that go with it, and then progress into a bigger item. Are there classes and things on doing those things? I mean, not everybody can lay wallpaper. No, no, there's probably a lot of shops out there that can give guidance to how to do it. Yes. Um, like I said, starting with a small project often makes it easier than trying to do a big one. Yep. But there's a wealth of knowledge in miniature shops and there's a lot of information on the internet. Okay, and how, how did you start? Initially, being in Christmas, I bought a few miniatures for a fireplace <laughs> and it got out of control. Out of control. Does it get out of control for everybody? Mm. It seems to. Probably. 20 yeah. odd years in, I, yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. it. It's out never, of control. You never lose But that's it. a good thing, isn't it? Like, it is a good thing. You don't go and muck up on the street, do you, when you've got a hobby? No, no. No, no it's good therapy. Yep. You find you can stay up till late of a night. Yep. Where you'd normally be tired an hour or two earlier. Yeah. It just gets you going. And, yeah. yeah. Are there all your friends making all the noise in the background? Yeah, it? all yeah. my mini friends. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you travel the whole country or certain areas? We go to uh, quite a few shows from you know Brisbane, Sydney, yep. Melbourne, South Australia. Um, yep. We've been down to Tassie to do a miniature show there ah, as well. Tassie's got the cleanest air in Australia, apparently. It's they won an award last night or last couple of days anyway. Yeah, it's a yeah. lovely place to yeah. visit. We took a few days extra to have a look around. It was good. Ah, okay. We'd like to go back again. So where do you get all the... You're starting to cast and cut and do all these kinds of things and you're purchasing from overseas and you've got a great array of, of product for anybody who wants to get into the industry, aren't you? Yeah, we've sort of starting to develop things that are a little less normal for most of it. There, are, We have quite a few unique things that aren't available out in the market. Right. So we are producing things to fill those gaps for do other you, styles. Do you have an online site or Yes, we Facebook? do. We have a website. Yes. Okay, we'll put that down on the bottom of while you're talking. We'll run that across there. So anybody who wants to buy or look at any of your gear, they can go straight there and have a look. They can't see it there. They can give me a call and I can talk to them and run them through it and send them photos and ah, give them okay. a bit of guidance. Okay. All right. And you travel in a mobile home to show, to show, to show. We do. Yes. I find that quite fascinating. We take our motel with us. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, that wasn't hard, was it? Yes, it was terrible. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much, Ruth. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Hello. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Um, my name's Anne. I'm, um, Anne with an A or an E? A-N-H. A ah. <laughs> and you've been making all this beautiful jewellery. Yes, that's right. I handmade all of them from polymer clay. Including your earrings? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Avocados. That is amazing. I love avocados. And how long have you been doing this, eh? Um, Since 2016. Oh, yeah. quite recently for hobbyists. <laughs> yes. It's a long journey. Are you a member of the club here? Um, I would like to. Yeah? Um, yeah, yeah, I would like to. Well, in this video you will find details on how to join. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And um, tell us about what you do, how you do it. Tell us anything you like. 
Um, well, I normally do earrings, but because I love miniature, um, this is a great opportunity to start my little adventure on miniature. Yep. So I made this little tiny bunny. Um, and they really, they, they, they're like the favourite of the show. Has the bunny got a name? Um, Not like Roger or something like that? <laughs> what about it? Roger Rabbit? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it could be. Um, yeah, name. And does he live on five acre wood? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> Possibly <too>. does. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks so much for being here. Um, and you can find me on um, Be Pretty Me on Etsy, Facebook, Instagram. Um, yeah, just pop in and say Well, they'll contact you with the details down the bottom of the screen. Yeah. All your details will be there. And um, they can come along. And you can come and join the club. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so well, thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hello. Hi there. Yeah, what's your name? I'm Elaine. 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 Yep. yep. And you're a member of the club here, Elaine? No, I'm not a member of the club, but I come every year to when, it, when it's on to the show. Yep. And uh, I enjoy, I have enjoyed doing miniatures and making miniatures. I have about five houses at home that I supply my miniatures into. Ah. Um, it's getting now, I've really got too much, so that's why I like to sell things and perhaps move some things on and get some new stuff, yeah, you know. Yeah. But um, I do, I am a member of the Brisbane Doll Society yep. and so I, I've actually now taken over with dolls over here that we're now making, we're upcycling Barbie dolls and we're actually putting plaster on them as their clothes. So I, you might like to take a little photo of I that I will, later. I'll go through and, and take a um, shot of them. Yeah, and, I'm just, I think I'm a crafty person. Yeah. And I love to go to Crafty craft. as in the craft or crafty oh, as in the craft? Well, maybe both. <laughs> but no, crafty as in the craft. And yeah. I go to, on a Wednesday, to my friend Val over here. And um, she's very good. And, and we do lots of things. And she has a lot of imagination. And uh, so we have a lot of fun. Yeah. And really enjoy our Wednesdays at Talabudra. Okay. And uh, yeah, but it's. Uh, I also like to come to these shows to meet all my friends who yep. I've met over You've the years. You've got some friends. Well, I've got a few. Yes. Oh yeah. And so it's really good to go around and say and see that they're still here and that yep. they're, they're, there's a bear lady that we have and ones that deal in laces and things and Julie down yeah. there who does the, the miniatures and it's really really great to ah. catch up with them. Even it's only once a year, although we've been told this is our first. Year. Uh, doll show or miniature show for three years because right. of COVID. Yes. Was, yeah. So it's been re you know, it's been really good to come oh. back today. And you're selling the dolls? Yes, these dolls that I've got down here I'm selling. And they are you can see when you look at them they're upcycled Barbie dolls and they've got plaster around them and it's a very messy job. And so on a Wednesday we have all this plaster everywhere and we make their clothes. So in actual fact, they're just the Barbie doll there and they've got the plaster and then we paint over that or we, we decorate it somehow with a little bit okay. of lace or something. And it's just to upcycle, because you, do you know how many Barbie dolls there would be at these charity shops? No. They have lots and lots of, of these Barbie dolls. Ah. Barbies and, and Monster High dolls and Bratz dolls. And so we've sort of delved off our miniatures a little bit onto that. But we'll come back to miniatures too. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, the things that you're selling and that, do we have your contact details down below? Um, well, if I can just move a little bit. Uh, this, is, this is my card. Yes. Which is, I have... Um, I'll in, write that down the bottom of the video. All right. Binder's yeah. Fantasy... Um, world yep. which I've had for a long time and Binder was my girl guide Aboriginal name because ah. uh, many years ago I had girl guides yep. and I used to teach them and um, I was always Binder which means deep water so oh, okay. I kept on that as my um, trading name right yeah. that's interesting so just like these dolls here for instance I'll just show you yes um, this just is, hold it up a bit higher it's not actually a Barbie doll that one 
but it's um, they're jointed, you see, so you can pose them. You know, they can be posed any oh, way. Okay. But if you see the the uh, she's got a bit of lace on her here, yep. but she's this is all plaster, plaster of Paris, uh -huh. and it's all sealed all and plaster she, cloth. And cloth underneath, it's got yeah. gauze cloth. Yeah. So that's just something that we do, and we're. Uh, you know, we sort of decorated her earrings and we've done her eyes a little bit more spectacular, you know. And, okay. And then we, we've gone on to this doll particular. She actually stands on her own because she's got like a, a little cloth or a gown, you'd say, that comes down to here. And um, we try That's and pose nice, them a little bit. And I just say that they're one of a kind of fantasy Absolutely. Doll. But... Um, and then we did some these busts too, which are these are from just dolls that you find in the charity shop that they sell mainly for five dollars. And we've got a head and a bust, and then we just put these around. Now we can paint this, or we can do whatever we like with it. But um, and we just sort of make it so that it doesn't scratch the furniture. Right. But it's well, just, they're just enjoyable things that we like. Okay. Well, look, yeah. thank you very much. That's a quite a different part of the hobby, isn't it? It is. So it's okay. all, yeah. Okay. So you, you can contact you by the uh, details down the bottom of the screen. Certainly can. It's not there now, but it will be. Okay. okay. Be all lovely. right. So thank you very much. Okay. Well, that's why you have that like that. Just to try to show that's what's in there. Well, hello. Hello. Hey, you look two the same. Uh, the sisters. Sisters, yeah. a mini version of me. Oh, a mini version of me. Oh, I can't find a mini version of me. <laughs> uh, what's your names? I'm Christina. Yeah. And I'm Erin. Okay. And you've been doing all this great stuff here in front of me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so this is Golightly Miniatures. Yes. Um, I've been making miniatures, I think, for about six years now. Yeah. Um, we've been trading at the show since then um, in Brisbane. I live just in Noosa. And, yeah, we make a variety of different things from furniture and plates yeah. and signs and Oh, artwork. some great stuff here. A lot of piano. Oh, yeah. Too. And it's amazing. And Erin makes, like, a lot of the little things for me and yeah. helps me. She does the little mannequins and yeah and yeah. my husband who isn't here today he's looking after our children okay. he um he solders uh some pieces for me as well like yeah. some brass and it's become a big family affair roping everyone in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that's fantastic yeah. well thank you very much oh, thank you so uh, much. people can contact you with the details at the bottom of the, your your uh, of the screen yes so yes. i'll give you a call contact you email address or whatever yeah. Go and uh, they can get stuff. We're on yes. Instagram and email yep. and all of those things. Okay. Thank you very Wonderful. much. Thank you. Care. Well, look at this. It's a red bear. Oh, there's somebody holding the bear. Who is this? Whoa, what? there's Wonderful. been a fall. Go on, what's your name? I'm Claire from Claire Bears. Yeah. Oh. And this beautiful <laughs> red bear is a stuff. Hello. It's a company that's been going since 1890. Oh, and you've been making them a long time, I told. Not this well, particular I have one, been but yeah. Years too. Yep. For 30 years. 30 been years. Teaching. Yeah. That's a long time to be making bears. Did yeah. you ever finish one? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Sold a few thousand. A lot thousand. of people don't, you know. <laughs> no, I sold a few thousand of them. Yeah. yeah. And where do you sell your stuff? At the shows. At the shows? Yes, okay. always. I started the shows in 1992. Right. So. And can folk contact you after the show? Yes. So we'll yes. put your details on the bottom of the screen here. That would be lovely. Yep, and they Thank can you. contact you and uh, negotiate with you. Yes. For a red bear. Absolutely. Or any other colour, really. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever stock ones are in stock, and I deal in the antique ones and the old bears, yep. vintage. Okay. So, and they're all from Germany. Oh, right. Yes. So they're all Octung bears kind yes. of thing. Yes. Okay. All right. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, hello. Hello. How well, are you? What's your name? Terry. Hello, Terry. Um, you making dolls? Yes. Yes. Tell us about your dolls. How long have you been making them? Oh, 36 years. 36 years. Mm -hmm. Have you learned what you're doing yet? I teach other people how to do it. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do antique reproduction. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. And you've got a show coming up? Yes, in two weeks' time in the Strathpine Community Centre. Yep. It's um, quite a good show. We have a large competition. Hopefully it'll be large. And traders. Right. They're selling a not just dogs. There are other things. There's other things as well. Yes. So um, what do you do? Would you start with a blank or do you buy kits? Or I pour the moulds. Okay. I teach people. I have plaster moulds and I have a liquid clay that we call slip and pour that into the mould. So I, we start from scratch. Wow, I thought, I think every trade could, every hobby trade kind of can learn from that, couldn't they? Well, I think so. It yes. It takes a lot of skill to make a dog. Yeah. We do their wigs, <clears throat> we make their shoes, we knit their socks. They Goodness. Pick, clean the greenware up, which is unfired clay, and fire, I fire it, and then I, the ladies paint the dolls, and then yep. we put glass eyes in and assemble the doll, and then we have to rip. If you do anti reproduction, you have to research the clothing to, yes. to dress them for the right era. Right. So that's these dolls here. This is a modern doll. Yeah. And she was sculpted by an Australian to represent an Australian Aboriginal child. Okay. So, and she looks exactly right. Yeah. So it's a fascinating hobby. We make leather shoes, knit socks, make mohair wigs. Yeah. So it's quite involved. Absolutely. Goodness, everything's made. Yes. Well, okay. if you do it, you can buy things. Yes. But if you enter competition, you uh, get extra points if you have yep. made all of those things. Because um, you have to research the clothing to dress them in the right period. Yep. You know, so it's, it's, it's very... I've been doing it for 36 years and yeah. I'm not sick of it yet. <laughs> okay. Well, look, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll put the details of people to contact you at the bottom of the screen. Okay, then. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Some of them are my students. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you hey. doing? What are you doing here today? Uh, finding some motivation and enjoying everyone else's work. You're going to build a dollhouse? I ha am already building a dollhouse. You're already building a dollhouse? And I build a few things, yeah. Has it got a roof? Yes. It has? Yes. <laughs> well, that's nearly and all the way solar panels. Yes. <laughs> what colour is it? White. White, huh? Yeah. Well, yep. thank you very much for that. What's okay. your name? Louisa. Louisa? Okay, Louisa, thank you very much. No problem. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you going? This is your stall? That's it, that's it. This is Miniature Fairy Tale Gardens. Oh, okay. And you design a lot of the stuff yourself, right? I do a lot eh? of designing. And I'm how long have you been doing this? 20 years. Oh, wow. And what's your name? I'm Peter and my husband's Peter. Both Peters? Yeah. So it doesn't matter which one we call? No, no, no you'll be both fine. come. Yeah, okay. That'll be fine. And you've designed this great thing well, here next to you? Well, my great-great-grandmother yes. was the one that started the family off in Fairy Gardens. We've been in it for five generations. Goodness me. And when I resigned, when I retired, I decided I would manufacture a range of fairy garden pieces, and the whole industry has taken off from that. Oh, that's fantastic. What year would have that been? Five oh. generations. Yeah, that's, oh. that's going way back. It is going way back. It's going back. Yeah. We've been, how long? 15 years, maybe? 15 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yep. Well, you've got some really different stuff here. Well, we try to. We try yes. to be different to everybody else. And everybody can catch you down or put your uh, contact details at the bottom of the uh, email here, the video. Um, yes, no, yes. Yes, no. We mainly no. do pop-up shops in shopping centres. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. You can tell us where they are. Yeah, well, we'll be at North Lakes in the next couple of weeks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much.
These are absolutely beautiful. You make all these yourself? I do. Yeah. How long have you been making them? Um, the miniature knitting I've probably been doing for about maybe about five years. Five years. And yeah, what's your name? Leslie. Oh, Leslie. Hi. Okay. You're having a good time here at the show? Yeah, I am. Yeah. yeah, good to be back after so long. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And you've got a fair bit of stuff here we're going to film now. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see this anytime you like. It'll be on YouTube. Okay. okay. All right. All right, we'll go on. Okay. And you make these dolls too? Uh, yeah, bear, bears and rabbits and elephants. Bears and rabbits. Elephants, teddies, mice. Koala, little koala down here, dragons. That is amazing. I'm Peter Stroud from Nambucca Sizzle Shop. I've been doing miniatures forever because I'm a model maker. Um, my wife does miniature baskets and teaches people how to make miniature baskets. Ah, how long have you been doing this? This exactly for 25 years. 25 years. Have you learned how to do it yet? No, certainly no, not. No, still learning. <laughs> Isn't that the same with anything? Yeah, it you're, is. You're it always is. learning. It is, it is. And you've got great timber work here, huh? Oh, absolutely. It's pretty, but yeah. Most, most of it's done by other people. My yeah. stuff, the stuff I do, is not on display at present because uh, there's not enough room to put it there. So. Yeah. Okay, and um, you've got contact details? I do have contact details in a form. So in a form? Yeah, the best way to find me is to look for my wife, Liddy Stroud, L-I-D-I-S-T-R-O-U-D, on Google. And okay, that will you'll give find you her. Me. Yes, and she'll pass anything she doesn't like onto me very quickly. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you very much for that. Yeah. I'm Sharon. I'm a part of the BMEA. Yeah. And these are our raffles. We have um, one, two, three, four, five raffles. When are they drawn? Tomorrow at two thirty. Tomorrow at two thirty. Yes. Yeah. Um, so you know everybody's got to give us on the ticket their name and phone number. Yeah. And the other half of the ticket goes into the tin of whatever they want. Yep. And how long have you been with the club? Ooh. Five, four years, four, ah. four or five years. And do you do doll houses yourself or yes. you do? Well, I've got one doll's house and yep. I make a lot of dioramas. Oh, okay. Yeah. What scale do you the dioramas? Uh, uh, whatever I feel. Whatever like. you feel. Whatever I feel. Like. Yeah. I try to keep things at one twelfth. Yep. But uh, sometimes it's not possible. Yeah. They'd be a bit smaller. Okay. Well, thank you very much for that. You're I appreciate it. You're Hello, what's your name? I'm Nicola Tierney. Yes. Yeah. And you've made all these beautiful things. Yes, I have. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Oh, about 30 years now. Oh, so you know what you're doing now. <laughs> you do? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And where are they for sale? Uh, I've got them um, at a couple of shops, um, uh, one at Mount Me uh, for a friend and then I've got them at Binnaburra, Canungra and at uh, Ashmore on the Gold Coast as well. Oh, okay. Can we put a link on the video towards you? Uh, yes, yeah, okay. from my Facebook group, yeah, yep. my Facebook page, yeah. Yes, okay, yep. we'll put that link down there. You can see that down the bottom now. And these things here, what do you call them? I call them secret gardens. They're all made of natural, repurposed and a few new items. And oh, okay. then I place them under glass. Oh, that's unique. Yeah. The camera's dropping down a bit because I was looking down at what they were, but that's really <laughs> good. But we got you now. Oh, thank you very much. Well, thank Go you very prize. much for that. Thank you. Thank Hello. Hi, Richard. 
And what's your name? Valmy Sinkinson. Yes. And what do you do? Um, well, I'm a part-time miniaturist, I guess. Yeah. Um, and um, I've been around the sort of Brisbane club as a member on and off for probably over 30 odd years. So yeah. I know a lot of the members quite well. Yep. But I've lived away from Brisbane a lot, so I haven't had that constant contact and currently live on the Sunshine Coast. And you've got a few personal things for sale. I have indeed. I yes. have items that um, I've decided that I may not live to 110, and <laughs> but I, I think I should divest myself. You find out the recipe, let us know. <laughs> And I'm going to divest myself of some of okay. my items that I, you know, enjoy yep. looking at and whatever. Yeah. So people can contact you at the number below? Yes, indeed. Yep. Okay. And how long have you been a member of the club? Well, I currently, I'm not a financial member this year. Yeah, just pretend you are. Oh, okay. Well, I've been a member on and off for about 30 odd years, Ooh. so probably 35. Yep. And yep. So I've known and seen many of these people over the years, but living in the country, it would only be once a year at the shows. Yep. And so we would travel long distances to come to the shows and get that enthusiasm that you get from meeting other people. Oh, that's with fantastic. The same hobby. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. I'm going to take some shots now of your gear. Is that all okay? Thank you, Richard. Take care. Thank you.